Hello friends, so today I'm going to share my interview experience with Cognizant for React.js Guild. So I entered an interview for the uh, React.js Guild for the April 1st week and then I got the second round invite by the uh, third week itself. So I'm just going to share my interview experience and the questions over here. So I uh, attended the interview for the six years of experience level. So uh, a lot of questions were asked. So for the first technical round, it was a telephonic round and it took around uh, like 30 to 40 minutes. And the second round was a video technical round. So just uh, let's go through the questions. So the first question is like use of react.pure component. And then I was explaining it and he was asking like its life cycle method by default it is getting used. And that's the second question is like use of super keyword in the constructor. Why we are actually using it? And then the next question, explain HOC. With uh, the HOC, any, any of the HOC example which you have used in your project. Then difference between state and props. How we are actually, uh, like what is the differences? Like uh, two to three differences we can get. Then can we update the state inside render method? So that was the other question following that. And if we try to update the state in render method, then what actually happens? So the error which comes out, you can uh, actually give it as the answer. Then list of the lifecycle methods, which we are aware of. So I was not aware of the complete lifecycle method. So I just gave few of them. And then uh, he asked, uh, the next question he asked was like, why get derived state from props lifecycle method is being used? If we can actually like use it in other way, then why this uh, life cycle method is specifically used? Then the next question: Use of component did update. Like uh, there will be like uh, uh, some some particular questions will come up when we are actually answering it. So from the uh, from the like project experience, what you have faced and what actual comments you are actually for what purpose you have given for API fetch in this component did update. So uh, he asked like. That. Now, the how to handle infinite loop in component did update. If you face an infinite loop uh, while updating the state, so how we will uh, handle with respect to the component did update. Then usage of error boundaries and lifecycle methods we are used in it. Then what are synthetic events? Then the next question was of difference between controlled and uncontrolled components. So we may have to give some examples as well. How it uh, actually like a uh, what all you have faced when you were working in project what all things you have used with the controlled and uncontrolled component then the next was like use of key attribute in react and then uh, like uh, the next person came from uh, use of fragments so in the key attribute section we will explain about the list and all so in the case of use of fragments we explain uh, why it, uh, like in the tables and because of the no like no new nodes list we implemented so those things we will use it and then the next question came up like what all attributes we can use in fragments which is just a key so you can uh, give the answers in that way then the next question like what all prop validations we have used in your code uh, like one of the uh, prop type uh, whatever you have used you can mention it over there how to implement component will unmount using hooks so in use effect how we will use it we can uh, give the answer then the next question like uh, purpose of use callback hook uh, like uh, why it is being used when how we have used it in your project then explain context api so how we are using it how props drilling uh, everything you can mention it over there then unit testing used and how you get element by class name so this was a question from the testing side so i told like i'm using just with rtl and so uh, the next question was like how do you get element by its class name then uh, the project uh, like uh, the questions went on to the redex so explain the flow of redex was the first one then how multiple stores are handled so redex will have the single store so how can we like handle multiple stores like uh, flux of uh, those things if you know you can mention it then the next one of usage of redex thumb or why we are using it actually then parameters passed in create store what all things like um, uh, read, command reduce or set limit every, anything or uh, everything you can mention it then use of doc type then once that was over then uh, the questions were started for the html so use of doc type and what will happen if we don't use it 
then what is meta tag why we are using it then what is semantic elements uh, formatting tags layout elements and uh, usage of area label everything like uh, a sort of questions were asked then comes with the css so what all position positionings we are having in css and what is the difference of uh, absolute and fix then usage of box sizing what is the use of this box sizing then difference between border and outline then i was asked for naming few pseudo elements and i was asked for giving media query syntax even though it was telephonic interview i was asked uh, to provide the syntax just by all then explain the uh, flex cons like flex box uh, how we are implementing and what all parameters are there how we can arrange the elements this uh, a brief outline we have to give then any experience if we have in SARS and all they can mention it over there so that was from the css then uh, like i was having experience in material ui so we just asked what are the alert types we have used in material UI. and then how how to add the custom stylings using class names and all. so uh, that was the other question uh, like came up. then uh, the question was to us javascript so what all data types you are aware of and like what is hoisting and uh, it went on a little bit deep like what let and uh, the cons so how it differs in uh, in hoisting for them and difference between undeclared and undefined so you can uh, report over there then difference between set timeout and set interval and how we can actually clear them, like clear time of clear uh, interval is there, right? So you can mention that as well. Then he asked me about what is anonymous function and what are the advantages of arrow function than the regular functions. Okay. Then usage of spread operator, uh, like all the, like uh, for uh, cloning the object, everything you can mention to that. Again, the next question was for object restructuring. So we can give the example for use date. Uh, for array description and then use of async await than promises so uh, first he asked me what is async await and then he asked me what is the advantage of using it than the javascript promises then the next question was for use of generators uh, and then then the, uh, next question for difference between forage and map uh, how it actually differs and what you are actually using it and why uh, why you are preferring that method so such questions went on then javascript array method uh, to add an element to second and fourth position like splice and all so a few questions on that so this for the first technical round interview it actually went on quite long and uh, the question even uh, it, uh, for the from the answers itself uh, it was asking a little bit of like uh, second secondary questions as well so that was the first round but uh, i hadn't asked it, uh, answered few of them but still i got cleared for the first round so the second round was scheduled for me in the second week itself and it was completely video technical round so uh, after the brief introduction uh, i was asked to uh, detail about my project which i recently handled so what all roles and responsibilities I handled, what all issues I faced, you know, how we have handled it, what are the improvisations I have done to my project and what you expect you have you you would have done. So those type of questions were asked. And then com uh, com coming to the like real work, real work experiences, like he asked few of the questions, like how different time zones are handled because in server, like uh, we are like, from different uh, uh, areas we are actually work, uh, we are uh, the clients will be consuming these uh, uh, APIs and all right so how the time zones are handled in react project how we are uh, implementing it in CSS like, and then uh, can we have multiple render methods so that was the other question in how many ways page responsiveness can be handled like viewport uh, media queries everything like uh, we can you, you are aware of you can mention it then how react is better than angular like any other framework like how react is better from others and then advantages of like uh, so i was asked which component you are actually uh, comfortable with then i told functional then why uh, why you are uh, why you feel like that is advantages from the class component and uh, any any cones for class component that functional components so such questions was then how I react actually works so you can mention the virtual DOM virtualization reconciliation diffing algorithm all those things then what is XHR like developer tools we can find that XML HTTP request uh, in network type right so how the 
um, status code responsive uh, for status code you can check so uh, with, uh, actually like uh, he is just checking for the like whether we have the uh, uh, like uh, we are aware of the developer tools uh, we are aware of working on it and then uh, how we can find session details like in the authentication session like uh, if you want to check for that so how you, you access and where you can find the details and then how you debug your code so such things were asked and then the next is a, a little bit like web storages you have you have used or you are aware of then type of errors like you have faced then usage of windows history in routing so how uh if in like uh, uh windows history replace push those things we can mention then sample code for media query so it's like uh any um, media query the uh, simple media query in css they're asking so otherwise you can actually like mention that use theme use media query hook uh, using that also you can mention and then some coding questions was like a couple of coding questions on like uh, some uh, some facts some numbers were given and i was asked to filter it i was asked to find so using these array methods uh, some questions were asked and then the difference between use callback and use memo uh, and then how data is passed to like in 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 react project uh, you uh, redex uh, context API, we are actually sharing the data right so how we are actually passing to parent how we are actually passing to child how we are actually passing to siblings so those were asked and then the difference between use state and use reflect like i was asked to list different books i was aware of and then uh, he asked me about the difference between use state and use ref so like that and then uh, i was asked to write some code for the promise as well which would give a hello each second of success and uh, by one time like for failure how uh, i was asked for writing a promise for that then I was asked to explain PWA and how like service worker registering that those things we can mention as well. So how we are actually implementing it in our React project. So those things we can mention. And then uh, how security performance optimizations is achieved. So that is like uh, um, uh, being an experienced candidate for six years. So he is checking how well you can actually improvise yourself uh, in the uh, like whenever yeah, uh, can whether we are able to handle the project yourself so that's what being checked and then the es6 features later es6 features all of them like uh, uh, like what all we are aware of and it was just asking for each one of them like object structuring spread and rest operator uh, error function so just we were a, a brief uh got to go through the stand like uh the checks was done so that's it. Uh, so that was the questions I had faced. Uh, I, 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 uh, like I felt like the second round was actually completely better than the first round. The first round uh, we had covered like almost all the areas, and it was very uh, deeply went. So this was my experience. Uh, so for more videos, please subscribe my channel. I will be like, I'm, uh, I'm in case like uh, for I can the other interview. So if I get more questions, I will be posting it. So please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.